हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एन सी आर टी क्लास एट्थ सब्जेक्ट साइंस चैप्टर नंबर वन द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन एंड मैनेजमेंट एज यू ऑल हैव लर्न दैट ऑल द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स रिक्वायर फूड प्लांट्स कैन मेक देयर ऑन फूड दैम सेल्स एज यू हैव स्टडीड इन द लास्ट क्लासेज ऑल्सो दैट ग्रीन प्लांट सिंथेसाइज देयर ऑन फूड बाय द प्रोसेस ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस एनिमल्स इंक्लूडिंग ह्यूमन्स कैन नॉट मेक देयर ऑन फूड सो दे आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन द प्लांट्स टू गेट द फूड द एनर्जी फ्रॉम फूड इज यूटिलाइज बाय ऑर्गेनिजम्स फॉर कैरिंग आउट दियर वेरियस बॉडी फंक्शन सच एज डाइजेशन रेस्पिरेशन एंड एक्सक्रीशन so we get our food from plants and animals both since to understand the crop production you should imagine yourself not like as a student but like a farmer you are a farmer and you are in the field so just go to the fields in today's class we will discuss three main topics that are crop main cropping patterns and agricultural implements first of all we should understand what is agriculture growing plants and receiving animals for food clothing and other useful products is called agriculture till 10000 bc people were nomadic they were wandering in groups from place to place in search of food and shelter they ate raw fruits and vegetables and started hunting for animals for food later they could cultivated land and produce rice wheat and other food crops thus was born agriculture now what is crops when plants of the same kind are grown and cultivated at one place on a large scale then it is called crops for example crop of wheat means that all the plants grown in a field are that of wheat other words other example we can take crop of barley means that all the plants grown in a field are that of barley our next topic is cropping pattern as you all know India is a vast country the climatic condition like temperature humidity and rainfall vary from one region to another accordingly there is a rich variety of crops grown in different parts of the country despite this diversity two broad cropping patterns can be identified so main cropping patterns are kharif crops and rabi crops kharif crops the crops which are shown in the rainy season are called kharif crops the rainy season in india is generally from june to september the main examples of kharif crops are paddy maize soya bean groundnut cotton etc crops the crops grown in the winter season are called rabi crops time period of winter season or rabi crops is generally from october to march the main examples of rabi crops are wheat gram pea mustard and linseed so in this topic mainly you have to learn the time period and also the examples of the kharif crop and rabi crop now our third topic to discuss today is agricultural implements the implements or tools that we are using for the agriculture practices are called the agricultural implements before sowing the seeds it is necessary to break the soil to the size of grains to get better yield this is done with the help of various tools the main tools used for this purpose are plough hoe and cultivator so now we will discuss them in detail what is their shape structure and use 
Our first agricultural implement is plough. This is being used since ancient time for tilling the soil, adding fertilizer to the crops, removing the weeds, scrapping off soils, etc. This implement is made of wood and is drawn by a pair of bulls or other animals like horses or camels etc. It contains a strong triangular iron strip called plough shear. The main part of the plough is a long log of wood which is called a plough shaft. There is a handle at one end of the shaft. The other end of is attached to a beam which is placed on the bull's necks. One pair of bulls and a man can easily operate the plough. The indigenous wooden plough is increasingly being replaced by iron ploughs nowadays. Our next agricultural implement is hoe. It is a simple tool which is used for removing weeds and for loosening the soil. It has a long rod of wood or iron. A strong broad and bent plate of iron is fixed to one of its ends and works like a blade. It is pulled by animals. Next agricultural implement is cultivator. Nowadays pluffing is done by tractor driven cultivator. The use of cultivator saves labor and time. This makes cropping easy. So now I understand you are easily understand what is crop, what are the main cropping patterns, what is rabi crop, what is kharif crops and what are the main agricultural implements, what is the use of plough, hoe and cultivator and what is their structures. Now before ending the topic I just want to give you some exercise questions so that you can judge how much you learn. You can also give the answers of these questions in the comment box. The first question is a fill up. This is the same kind of plants grown and cultivated on a large scale is called. Second question is give two examples of each Kharif crop and Rabi crop. Then question number third is write the uses of plough, hoe and cultivator. Thanks for watching the video. So friends give your suggestions for the next video. Please like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks.